Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Dev Tutorial. In this intermediate Excel tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to group rows in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. Take a look at this worksheet here. I have data for three years and I have divided this data in quarters. Okay. Now, if I want to get a summary from this data, it's really tough to understand what's going on but if i group these rows or if i hide several rows i can get a better summary let's learn how to group rows in excel first i'm going to select all the data that are from 2022 okay now i didn't select the 2022 total row okay because i want to watch this i don't want to watch this all the time so i'm going to select all these rows and then click on data tab and from here if i click on group and it will ask for if I want to group rows or columns I want to group rows so I'm going to select rows and then click OK now here in the left you can see three button one two and here I have a minus button if I click on two nothing happens because the last button is for to unhide or ungroup everything it will show details if i click here one you can see the row i have selected earlier are now hidden you can see row one and then row 18 and in between all these rows are hidden if i click on this plus sign it will unhide all those rows so if i group rows we can hide and unhide using plus and minus sign that's a plus okay now if i click here minus you can see i have a clear summary what i have in 2022 i have total 286,000 in 2022 okay now if i click here plus and if i want to get summary for each quarter i have to select all this quarter okay i'm going to select the first quarter and take a look at here i didn't select the first quarter total row okay because i want to watch this row only and i want to hide this so I have selected it and if I use the keyboard I can press alter shift and then right arrow it will give me the same pop-up if I want to group rows or column in this video I'm going to group rows only so row is selected and if I click OK you can see the first quarter is already grouped and it has become the second layer grouping the first layer is for the total 2022 year and the second layer is for all the quarters okay so if I click here minus you can see I can only see the first quarter total let's group the second quarter again alter shift right arrow and then enter let's group the third quarter alter shift right arrow and enter and again the fourth quarter if I select this from the data tab if I click here group drop down here we have another option group if I click here same thing happens now I have grouped four quarter already and I have grouped the total 2022 year so if I click on this minus and you can see I get a clear summary of what's happening in 2022 if I click here this minus it will hide all the quarters so the first thing is if I click on this button which says one because this is our first layer we only get 2022 summary then if I click here plus or if I click here two it will do the same thing I'm going to get the second layer grouping and here if I click on this plus it will reveal all the hidden rows and give me summary for each month but if I want to do this for all three years it will take a lot of time so we are going to ungroup all these first so for that select the entire range and on the keyboard press alt shift and left arrow and it will give a pop-up for ungrouping rows and we have rows already selected if i click ok you can see the first layer grouping is removed now if i remove each row alt or shift left arrow and then ungroup again alt or shift left arrow then ungroup or select everything and alt or shift left arrow and ungroup every grouping has been removed okay now if i select the entire range okay and click on the data tab and then from the group drop down select auto outline if i click here you can see we have three button here because we have two layer and three will reveal everything one will hide everything and two will be for the second layer grouping but what we can see here all the grouping has been done for us so outline can group our rows automatically but there is a catch you cannot keep an empty row and your data must be well formatted to use the auto outline option here in my data you can see I have 
row for each quarter and each cell is filled with data and I have a total row and I have year in every cell so this is why auto outline works for me it may not work for you if it doesn't work for you you have to format your data properly now let's see what we get from this if I click on this minus or if I click on one everything is hidden so I get a total summary for my three year sales data okay I get a summary for 2020 2021 2022 now I want to click on two or the second layer if I click here I'm going to get summary for all the quarter for each year now if I want to learn what happened in third quarter 2023 if I click here this plus sign we can see all the month data here so in this way we can organize our data properly and it looks good and it gives us a clear view what is happening throughout our business so this is how you group data in microsoft excel this is how you can ungroup it and by grouping you can hide and unhide rows using plus and minus sign and here one two three these are the third layer grouping if i click three everything is open or unhide if i click two only the quarter data is unhide if i click here one everything is hidden but only the year data is open so this is how you group it and you can group in like this up to eight level okay so we have here three layer grouping but we can go up to eight layer grouping this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe